Hey guys, no really that place so bright sometimes. Um one of these days I'm gonna go blind from it. Um, so how you guys doing? How's your new year been? Good, good, yeah, all right, all right. Um so uh, as as one of my new year's resolutions was to make at least ten new friends. Um I, I know they were really supposed to be more like, you know, people actually meet in the streets kind of friends. But your Facebook friends totally count, right? I mean, especially when you get added by a really cool person who you've been you hoping who would add you for a long time. That, that counts, right? Let's just say it counts, right? Yes, okay, well, it counts. Because the awesomeness that is Spencer Gibb um, added me today on Facebook uh, a few hours ago. I was, I'm absolutely shocked. Um, if you don't know who Spencer Gibb is, you're horrible. I hate you. No kidding. Um... He is uh, the son of Robin Gibb of the Bee Gees. And if you don't know who the Bee Gees are, what kind of a person are you? I mean, really? Really? Are you even a human being? Should I make you do one of those CAPTCHA things where it makes you type some, like, most ridiculous thing ever? Um, for those of you who don't know who the Bee Gees are, um, let's see here. Go watch Grease and Staying Alive. Saturday Night Fever. Yeah, go watch those. You, you, you hear a lot of their music. Or go watch Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Personally, I love the movie. I don't care what they say about it. But anyway, um, Robin's oldest son, Spencer, uh, added me on Facebook, which is awesome. I, I, I was freaking out just a little. Yeah. Um, See, so yeah, that's a cool thing. Uh, so I've already hit you know, one cool milestone. Sort of a tenth of a milestone. I don't know what. I'm gonna make it up here, people. Uh, let's see here. What else? Nothing really new yet. Just another weird day at work. Hey, I'm a little more sober. Okay, I can't be any less sober than. Or any. Yeah, less sober th than my last video. Okay, shut up. <laughs> it was New Year's. Just barely. Um, don't judge. But yeah, having a lot of fun. Um. Right now I'm getting ready f uh, with the kids. And it seems like I go from one thing with the kids to another. And I have my kids. Um, so we're getting ready for the Purim play or the story of Esther. That's our big next big thing that we'll post on here. Um, yeah, just having fun, just working, getting everything done. Um, let's see here. What else is there? Today was a fun day at work. Uh, there was a lot more people than I expected. I figured today would be, you know, National Hangover Day, because, well, it is. But there were still a lot of people in the stupid store. I'm like, people, go home, sleep, enjoy the new year, don't be at Walmart. But no, they have to, you know, stock up their supply because they thought the world was coming to an end again or something. I don't know. Everybody was in Walmart today. Of course, you know, another weird short day, even though I spent... You know, everywhere else I was over in, you know, registers, and I was at service desk, and I was running around the store like a mad woman because that's what I do best. But yeah, so that was fun today, and I slept a lot because that's what alcohol does. <laughs> and I did finish it, by the way. I did finish the bottle. Um, I had fun. Oh, I gotta watch the Shady Charles vlog. I was watching the, the, uh, CTFXC vlog, which is really cool. Um, it's, it, it's fun watching with Charles right now, and he's going through chemo. It, there, there, there's, there's some moments. I mean, he hits us right in the fields, man. So if you do not watch the CTFXC vlog, you guys gotta go check that out. I mean, I think one of the cool things with watching his vlogs and watching Danny's vlogs is you get the behind the scenes of an awesome band. We the Kings is pretty cool. Oh, speaking of which, I know I owed you, are you guys a music review, and that will be soon. I might do this here as soon as I get done watching the Sherry Tards vlog. I promise it's happening. I'm just, I'm just not there yet. Um, however, in the honor of my new friend, I will play a bit of one of his songs. Actually, it's not even one of his songs, it's a cover he did for uh, his father's songs. But if you do go to my Facebook page, however, uh, he posted one of his songs on there. He said, you know, this is still my answer for 2014, and I agree with him. There is at least one bad word in there, 
but it's one of those times where you actually need to say a bad word. It's just so intense, you just gotta say it. So uh, check that out on my Facebook page. I'll even link it below, just for Spencer's sake. Um, but here's one of his songs. If you do know who the Bee Gees are, you do know this song. Um, but this is, yeah, Spencer's cover of it. Play a little bit. Okay, you can't have any more of that. I was getting in trouble. Um, but yeah, so that's Spencer. He's awesome. You guys should check out his music. Uh, I'll link to his YouTube channel below as well. Um, you can see some of his songs and um, links to an interview, a couple of interviews of his. So he's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, check that out. And for those of you who don't know who the Bee Gees are, go Google them, really. Go Google them. I was talking about it the other day, one of my friends, one of my... One of the kids that I hang out with. And she's like, who are the Bee Gees? Like, I know you're young and everything, but I knew who the Bee Gees were when I was your age. So, that's not saying a whole lot because, well, I can name pretty much the full names of all the Bee Gees, Beatles, and Monkeys. What? I was raised right. That's right. Me and my friend Holly, we call ourselves retro kids. We would rather listen to stuff from the 60s and 70s than listen to the crap like Bieber. Ugh. Oh, yeah. If you guys um, if you go on Facebook, there's a couple of cool pages. Um, there's actually one thing that says, what is the one thing, you know, one word or phrase you want removed for 2014? So tell me, what what is the one, like, phrase or word that you hate hearing so much you want it completely eradicated for 2014 post it in the comments below um, I think the one I posted is team you know f this love triangle of the movie the most recent movie because I mean there, there was the whole team with Twilight team Edward team Jacob team Bella team Switzerland team gag me and I've called people <laughs> Well, yeah, there's Team Seth, or Team Charlie, always am. That's That was my team. But I see even with Hunger Games. He's like, oh, you're Team PETA? Like, okay, yes, I'm wearing a PETA lanyard, but I'm not Team PETA. And yes, I do prefer PETA over Gale for Katniss, but I'm Team Katniss. I'm Team, I'm going to shoot a flaming arrow through your heart. Come on. Forget this whole team love story, blah, 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 blah. No, nah, man, it's team she kicks major booty. Get over it, people. Um, see, so yeah, that, that's one thing I want, I, I want to eradicate. Um, some people were saying the keep calm and they want that gone. YOLO, swag, Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, um, were some of the, my favorite ones I saw in there. Uh, hashtag. I think a lot of people just want hashtag removed from Facebook, but I think a lot of people are forgetting that so many people have their Facebook and Twitter connected, so when you see people post hashtag on Facebook, they really post it on Twitter, it's just, it's posting also on Facebook, so, uh, that, that one I'm, is not as fair, I wish people would stop saying hashtag, or people putting it in their music videos, Robin Thicke, um, but, you know, just, just, for an example, um, but yeah, so, tell me what you, like, what phrase, word, or really, music artist you just want to disappear in 2014. It's like, oh, look, that one hit wonder. What happened to them? So, leave comments below. Um, I don't know if I'm going to count this as the first or the second for my vlog, but who cares? It's today. Even though I started vlogging it on the first, it's now the second. I'll just keep vlogging every night anyway. I'll probably do some vlogging tomorrow anyway, because, yay, tomorrow's a day off, day off. Um, yeah. Oh, I love YouTube. Actually, me. your video seems shaky. Do you want us to stabilize it? No, Facebook. I don't want you to stabilize it. Or YouTube. I don't want Facebook to stabilize it either. I want it to be shaky. I want earthquakes. Okay? Get over it. <laughs> anyway, love. Peace. Bye.